Okay, guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about these little clips. These are dollar store paper clips for holding um, uh, uh, piles of paper together. You can get them. They're a dollar. You come about 25 or 30 in a pack. Um, how do I make these clips? A pretty simple little device that's used for holding planks on. On your bulkheads, you put the plank underneath it, and it holds pressure while the glue dries if you're not using crazy glue to make it set fast. Well, you can use... Uh, sometimes one of the gentlemen on my site uh, said, well, you got to buy two different sizes and put them together and that way you can get them to work. Um, that's not necessarily true. Um, and I'll show you real quick here how they work. So we use these two little guys here, all right, for our demonstration. Use a pair of needle nose pliers, pull it in, pull that apart as it goes shooting across the room. And you can make two clips out of sacrificing one clip, okay? And you take that clip, put that there. Take this clip. Put it in first. And then twist. Takes a little knack once you get used to them. Um, it goes pretty quickly. <clears throat> and you can usually do them right by hand. And as you can see, voila, okay? But if you look on this very end here, they're kind of crimped together. Now, a way to alleviate that is you can take the, the tabs and bend them out to get them on the other side. But the reason why I leave them like that is they tend to be a little bit more tight. It tends to tend to be tighter to the... Um, to the back of the the clip you'll notice on this one the bigger one um, you can see down in there that the clamp is on either side it holds in really tight and that way it it sits really tight up on the top here so that that can go now uh, that's pretty simple pretty easy of course the little ones are a little bit tighter to deal with um, but they'll work on any size I mean no matter what the size if you take one clip Use two arms off the one clip. You sacrifice one clip, but you get to make two more of the plank clips. These are pennies. They cost nothing. Um, I'm on the skinny when it comes to building my boat, so everything I do has to be dirt cheap. Uh, I couldn't afford to do it with all the fancy tools. So here's another quick little tool. Um, made this with just a, a cut it out of some, of some blank pine that I had. Uh, this is a plank bending tool, uh, especially around the stern when you're trying to make those tight edges. Uh, when you try to bend it and try to get it in there, it snaps. Soak your beams in water, and if you have, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have a seam um, tube, fantastic. Then you're more advanced than I am. Uh, but if you don't, and just use this, soak it in some water. Take a water bottle, soak the the tabs or the um, the planks in the water bottle. You take this, you press it down in, and as it dries up, just broke obviously because it's dry. You take a clamp, you clamp it nice and slow, and so it bends, and you let it dry, and as it dries, it comes out, and it's in the perfect form. Now, the nice part about that is you're only bending in one direction, which is making the clamps work really, really well, or makes the, the beams work really, really well. When you take it out, it's naturally in that form, uh, works great. Uh, and then you can actually alleviate the tension to go around the, the stern or even the bow. You can use these for the bow as well. Um, it just makes things a lot easier and you're not standing on top of it. You can do with these. I did uh, four at a time. Uh, soak four of them, lay four of them in there. They bend really easy. Obviously, this was dry, so it broke. And another comment that I've had probably 10 comments on. Sometimes, as you can tell, if I'm doing this live, uh, your mouth doesn't work as quick as your brain does. Um, I've used these. These are double joint compasses. This is a compass. See right here. It says compass. Okay. This is a double joint compass for doing my measurements on the hull when I have a gap and just use that and mark it and trace the line so that that's how I get my measurements when making the gap. 
Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Answer some questions. You have any more tools that you want to know about that I use? Um, like I said, it's all on the skinny. I don't buy the latest and greatest. I just use what I have, and uh, and the Lord does the rest. All right. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye bye.